Ashes of Creation is getting closer. Hopefully with some good news. Solid four months since my last Ashes of Creation video, which means it's once again time for me to update the casual followers of this MMO that don't have the time to tune into every hour long live stream about the progress of the game. And let me tell you, the past four live streams have been absolute bangers, with one of them in particular being my favorite progress update shown by Intrepid so far. I'm sorry, man, I usually don't skip ads. But this time I had four pretty big reasons to covered the Alpha 2 tank showcase, the UI update, as well as the story arc system shown off in January, February and March of this year. April's livestream was one that I was personally very excited for, as it was our first glimpse at the mage archetype since the combat revamp. I basically play some form of mage in every MMO, and I can't really see that changing in Ashes, especially after what was shown off in this livestream. It does look very interesting though. Steven showcased some abilities. Blink, Ball Lightning, Blizzard. Ah, uh, this one I don't like. Yeah, this one I don't like. Cone of Looks cold. pretty fake. Lightning Strike. Cone of Cold. Also known as Frost FE. It's very similar to the Frost FE in Albion Online. And I'm gonna be honest, the Albion Line animation looks better. I, I think I think that needs more spikes, like more, uh, you know, the spikes are a little bit too... Cone of cold. Too far between, like there's just very little of them. There should be more. Lightning strike. Arcane volley. Elemental empowerment, which is an ability that works together with your weapon basic attack and previous elemental abilities. Looks very cast. good. The animations are top notch. Frost bolt. There, there are some that I don't like, Sun like Blizzard, for example. AOE CC. Chain Lightning. The thing that impressed me the most about Chain Lightning is that it can actually arc around corners if your character is pointing in a certain direction, which I haven't seen done before in an MMO. That's and so good. What? Demonstrated. I haven't seen that in a game, not even MMO. I guess I should play more games. It was <laughs> That's really good. Overall, the mage showcase in April was pretty cool. The combat didn't blow me away or anything, but it looked passable for the game's current state of development. One thing I liked in particular is that most of the spells don't completely root you in place, and you can still That's good. move whilst casting abilities, which will help make the combat feel a lot better. I don't like, for me, of course, right now we understand the game is not finished, this is not the final version of the combat. But I feel like they should put a very heavy emphasis on the combat. Yes, it's not the main thing about the game, but it's the thing that you're gonna do more often than anything else. Because guess what? Let's say questing is the main thing. Okay, to quest, you're probably gonna have to kill some mobs. Leveling might be the main thing. Okay, to level up, you probably have to kill some mobs. Gearing up is the main thing. Alright, to gear up, you probably have to kill some mobs. Killing mobs and moving around are two things that you're gonna be doing always. If those two things are fun, it doesn't necessarily mean that the game will be fun, but it's surely on the right trajectory. And for movement, look at games like Guild Wars 2, in which simply moving around, especially on the mounts, is just fun. You have jumping puzzles, you have different racetracks for the mounts and stuff like that, it's just fun movement. On the other side, look at games like Elder Scrolls Online, in which your character runs like he's constipated and is just about to finally come out. Very different games, very different games. Or combat, combat in uh, games like, let's say, Black Desert Online, or combat in games like Elder Scrolls Online. I'm not hating on ESO, I love the game, but man, the combat sucks. You're fighting like this in ESO. Straight up, like, there's no meat to it, there's no oomph, there's nothing like that, there's just standing there. And it's a shame, because ESO is a great game, but yeah, so in my opinion, those two things are crucial to the game's success. Because ESO has a good story, ESO has a good gear up system, ESO has interesting abilities and interesting lore. But because of those two components that are bad, the combat and the movement, the game flops and keeps flopping with more player agency than just maybe not just because of that again i'm not an eso player but for me that's the main reason why i'm not playing eso and i know a lot of people agree with me 
the May update live stream was definitely another one I'd consider to be a banger. As we find yeah, so combat is mouse clicking simulator <laughs> kind of. against the full raid of 16 players. The preview started out with Steven on a mage in the Riverlands during the winter season. Before encountering the Cyclops, we got to see a cool example. Why is nobody? I, I was genuinely thinking about this uh, out of topic, but he's wielding a staff and he's walking. Why is he not using the staff? There's no game that does that, and it's such a shame. Why? Like, imagine how cool it would be to just walk around and use your staff. Straight up! I, I, would, st I would just play the game because of that. I mean, I, I wouldn't stick to the game because of that, but I would legit... Like, why? It would be so fun to be able to just RP walk with your staff. There's no game that does that, as far as I know example of the mob aggro system it's a small thing but i would love to see it unlike most mmos where mobs straight up aggro you in ashes some of them will threaten to aggro you by changing to a defensive posture if you get too close before attacking this is another so nice interesting detail and immersion that i haven't seen done before in other MMOs. that's really interesting eventually we encountered the cyclops which instantly impressed me with how he paths through the world not only do you hear the stomps of his footprints from far away but you can also see and hear trees fall down as he walks past That's them. so cool. We followed the Cyclops. That's really badass. Especially if the Cyclone does not show on the map or stuff like that. Because then you're just moving around in a forest. You're just minding your own business. And all of a sudden. Like, that's just cool. That's just cool. Until we reached his combat arena. Uh, which like, uh, the flip side would be... A cyclops appears. A, a, a text that just shows up on the top of your screen telling you that a cyclone appeared. No, don't tell me a cyclone appeared. Show me! And the rest of the <laughs> you know? decides to show up. He was then engaged in combat and we were able to get a look at his mechanics. Now, world bosses in MMOs typically don't really have many or any mechanics other than just tank and spank. But the Cyclops did actually impress me, not only with his mechanics, but also animations. There's a crush ability that tanks need to block or take massive damage. There's raid-wide AoE roots, cone attacks, and a charge. At about 60% HP, he drops his tree totem, and players need to DPS it down before it spawns healing caps, which restore his health. That's and really cool. Destroyed, Tumok gains a new mechanic where he slams the ground multiple times, dealing massive raid wide AoE damage each time. Overall, a really cool fight and an absolute sight to behold seeing this massive Cyclops charge around an area. Yeah, because you see, that's the problem when you're doing world bosses. Look at games like Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2 has amazing boss fights in the open world if you do them for the first time. At least the core theory boss fights. I'm not sure about the expansion, like the la latest expansion ones. But if you just go and do the core ones, you're going to have a ton of fun for the first few days, for the first few hours. But afterwards, you just realize that you can just park your character in the middle of the Zerg and go to the toilet because there's not really a lot of mechanics. It's good that they're trying to prevent that uh, with this dealing environmental damage and slamming groups of players. Mechanically, the encounter doesn't appear to be too difficult, but it is just a low-level world boss. And for me, the most fun aspect of world boss fights is the sheer spectacle of having large groups of players come together yes. to enjoy an epic encounter in the open world. Yeah, but that's so the that keyword, regard, epic. What was shown here was a success. The Ashes Dune That's really interesting. was by far my favourite live stream so far as it showed off a side of the game that I'm personally the most excited about, the real space player housing and freehold system. For the longest time what's excited me the most about Ashes is the idea of having my own real space area in the world where I can grow crops, craft, place furniture, raise livestock and so on. This was the main thing I enjoyed about did he just milk up? Place furniture, Don't? raise livestock, and so on. Oh no, it's a pig. Okay. Who? <laughs> Wait. I go worry for a second. This was the main thing I enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Man, housing really allows you to feel like you live in the world of an MMORPG. This showcase started out with the team showing off some gemstone resources in the Riverland. Hey, <laughs> you milk the ball. Really cool mage gear. Set, oh no! And overall, the autumn scenery looking absolutely stunning. The team mount up on these giant bunny mount. What do you mean milking a pig is okay? Wait, you're right. Can you milk a pig? Can you milk a pig? Pig milk is not considered suitable for commercial production for a number of reasons. Pigs are considered difficult to milk. He must be a high-level milker. 
otherwise he couldn't milk them. He must be a high level milker. Mounts had headed towards the freehold. I thought the mounts running animation here looked expertly done. Yeah, they're really good. The freehold and straight away you can see this massive plot of land, way bigger than was planned for in this game's early stages of development. Initially freeholds were supposed to be half an acre in size, but since the Unreal Engine 5 update and the team increasing the size of the world by roughly... It's only for me that I'm not sure about that either. Yeah, the big meat is very unhealthy. In size because of the grease to 1.5 acres think. in size visually i think the current size of this land looks way more immersive and believable compared to everything being rammed together in close proximity in a half acre freehold the team parked their mounts and showcased some parts of the freehold in ashes mounts don't disappear they actually stay where you leave them similar to games like bdo which i think is another nice that's awesome touch. In the freehold, we were shown. I wish they could also. Okay, controversial thing, but I hope they can also die. Because I think it's awesome to lose your mount and have to grind for it again so that you actually form a bond with your mount. Because think about it in all the games, somehow you just take a horse out of your rear end and somehow place it back in there when you don't need it. That really breaks the immersion. Harvested, eggs could be straight up. From chickens, cows were milked, pigs could be butchered. And oh, it's a butcher. He's not milking the pig, Chad. Tomatoes were. I thought he was. To be honest, I don't know why I assumed he was milking the pig. Picked. We got to have a look at a freehold crafting station, which is apparently the place where the highest level craft. I love the armor. The armor looks amazing. Made. And we also had a look inside this small, cozy sized house that was filled with furniture. Another thing that was showcased here is the material inventory system that Intrepid are experimenting with. Basically, different materials have different inventory slot sizes rather than weight, which means you'll literally need to play inventory Tetris to manage your gathered map. I like that. This isn't a thing for the game's normal inventory, and you'll be able to get different bag types with different layouts. It's an interesting idea that I'm not too sure if it'll just end up being annoying or actually yeah, that's a risk of progression to material inventory. I guess we'll find. I feel like it's a nice out. thing because you are making inventory management a skill. Again, we, which I like. I like that. For two testing. Now, during this live stream, there was a lot of information. We had slides that explained the progression system for different freehold buildings, an updated explanation on the purpose of freeholds, how to get a freehold, and freehold availability. Something that certain MMO players might find controversial is. You have to be good at packing stuff, damn. Yeah. It's something that you'll need to work hard to obtain, and there'll be a certain level of prestige to having one. Especially By the way, um, I cannot be the only one that notices this. I need to point it out to you because since I noticed, it, since I noticed, I couldn't stop looking at it. This thing flops. Good location. This means if you're a you won't be able to unsee MMO Andy, then odds are you're not going to get one. And in my opinion, this is fine. If everyone could have a freehold, the entire world would be littered with them, and it'd look a mess. If you've got ten thousand people per server, not everyone can have yeah. a one point five acre piece of land. You wouldn't have free land. Would be cool precisely because not everyone can have one. Exactly. For everyone to have access to free. No, I totally agree with this. Uh, exclusive content should definitely be a Thing in all the MMOs and exclusive content should only be rewarded to the hardcore player. But what about the casuals? You playing casually? Why do you care? <laughs> you playing casually? Why do you care? Oh, but I cannot have the best in slot items. Yeah, because you're a casual. <laughs> Filthy casual. Poo. <laughs> no, I, I also play the games casually. I also play all the games that I play very much casually, so I can make fun of casuals, right? Which would make because I am one. Massive and less cool, basically wow garrisons. So yeah, I like the current design direction for this, and the game does have other forms of more accessible housing, like instance departments. Overall, the Ashes of Creation June live stream far surpassed. <laughs> Pay rent, you noob. <laughs> Let's go. Expectations and reminded me of one of the main reasons that I'm excited about this game in the first place. As much as the combat stuff shown previously looks okay, there's many MMOs with good combat and dungeons. There isn't, however, many MMOs where you can own real space land and truly live out the fantasy of having a second life inside of a game. Something else I wasn't expecting was the sheer amount of depth that the freehold system. This seems looks to amazing. Have, with the progression trees for each of the buildings.
So far, if you're someone that loves the whole life skill profession and- What's up, Amen? Welcome to the chat. MMOs, Ashes of Creation's looking like it's going to offer an experience truly next level compared to other MMOs. It seems more like the experience that you normally get in uh, single player games. So the fact that they're transposing some of those systems in multiplayer, like in MMO format, that's impressive, man. You know, if the game is actually as good as it seems, it might set the standard. It might st set the standard. Lies Ashes of Creation livestream was initially meant to be a long-awaited node update, but this was unfortunately pushed back, so we instead got another showcase of the Alpha 2 Cleric. This time, however, we got a much more comprehensive look at the class with 18 different abilities on display compared to the 4 or 5 shown back in November of 2022. This live stream took place in the Highwayman Hills, a visually stunning location that would be the perfect spot to ambush a passing caravan. Typically, this area is supposed to be inhabited with bandits. However, during the live That's stream, there's a so story arc cool. in progress where minor what is this game? This ashes of creation. Of the area. That's the so purpose cool. of my Ashes coverage is to be as concise as possible, so I'll just show the abilities demonstrated along with the tooltips, and you can just pause and read them if you like. I'd imagine most of you just want to see the visuals though, yeah so enjoy the spells are top notch i really like how this looks and i love the armors i think those are by far the best armors that i've ever seen in a game by far like, they're simple, they're not over the top, you don't have floating pieces, they're actual achievable armors. Like, if you wanted to make an armor like this in real life, you could. I, I would suspect that probably endgame armors would look a little bit cooler. But this looks great! Oh yeah, this is not final, this is not final. Yeah, they're simple and nice, exactly. After the ability showcase, we got a look at the work in progress UI customization option, which so far looks really clean. Why don't we have this in every single game? Why can't I place the HP bar wherever I want to place the HP bar? Why can't I separate this ability and place it over here? Because you mess up your UI. It's my UI. Let me mess it up. Like, I understand if I was a content creator and I'm mix mixing and mashing things purposely to make them look bad. But as long as that's not the case, you should let me do whatever I want with my UI. And after that, the team basically <coughs> <put their coughs> went through a point of interest to show off the clerics. But you need add-ons for a while, yeah. Stress. Yeah, that's the thing. It's nice to see uh, it in the game itself built in. Their way through a point, let me see this. Which so far looks really what was this? clean. And after that, the team basically fought their way through a point of interest to show off the clerics' healing capabilities under stress. Some heals. <laughs> Alright, I've got... What are we doing next? I'm okay. gonna get these... We're I'll on. get aggro focus on these fire, guys. Focus fire, focus yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah, Try to AoE if you can. Oh. oh. AoE it all down. Big AoE. I'm gonna do a trip. I'm doing a delayed heal. It's so interesting, Jet. Yes, maximum AoE power! Blizzard time. Let's are you go. doing the, uh... This looks great. The wave uh, attack, too, yeah. This actually looks great. Yes. That one's so good. Yo, Expro, do exclamation mark oh, drops. Ideal. That's the command that we're using for, for the drop inventory. Getting Mac all the value out of it. Try to get out some judgment. Okay. Feels amazing. Like, honestly, lo looks amazing. I don't know how it feels like, but it looks amazing. It. Very promising. Easy. That was super easy.
I, I feel like they don't like impact. Live stream. I, I like how, uh, how they look like. Fleshed out with a full kit of abilities is making it seem like Alpha 2 isn't actually that far yeah. away now. I liked that some of the cleric's abilities have. Yeah, maybe the mobs could be a little bit more reactive, yeah. Some interesting meta decisions to maximize efficiency. And visually, I thought the spell effects looked pretty good. As a whole, though, in its current state, I think Ashes of Creation's combat looks like a 6 or 7 out of 10. Yeah, it's not perfect. To the rest of the MMO genre, which isn't too bad, really. Absolutely the game not. Isn't finished yet and is likely to improve quite a lot. Oh, one more thing. September's Alpha 2 pack will be your final chance to buy access for Alpha 2, as Intrepid have announced they already have more than enough testers. So if you're desperate to play, then buy it whilst you still have a chance. If not, no worries. I'll be covering it extensively on the channel. But that's we're buying you, Chad. 100%. Of last four months of Ashes of Creation updates. In the next few months, we should get a big updated node-related live stream, which no, might be worthy of me covering in a separate video rather than a quick overview, considering the node system is the most unique aspect. Yeah, of that's the best part about Ashes. Every other if you don't know about the node genre. system, the idea is that you have certain areas in which you have a bigger amount of players. That area levels up and develops. The more players do activities in a certain area, the more the area levels up. So let's say you start a game and it's just a field. But everybody does activities over here. Well, that is going to become a small city. If players keep doing activities over there, it's going to become a bigger city and so on and so forth, which is going to be really interesting. What is this game called? It's called Ashes of Creation. Let me know what you really, think about really nice the last game. few months of Ashes progress in the comments below. Which aspect of the game are you most excited about? And do you think we'll see Alpha 2 before the Milky Way galaxy is eventually <laughs> consumed by the supermassive black hole? <laughs> That's a good question. That's actually a good question. If I... you want to support my Ashes coverage, then sign up with my referral code. Social media on screen. Thanks for... Chat, this is an amazing video, as we can all expect from um, the Lazy Peon. He's actually the creator that I always check out whenever I want to play a new game. Like, every single time I want to play a game. Let's say I want to play, I don't know, Bless Online. I just check out Bless Online Review, and I look specifically for the Flaccid Bear. Oh, uh, for, sorry, for the Lazy Peon. I look specifically for the Lazy Peon. So I was thinking about the Flaccid Baron. <laughs> but yeah, he actually was the person that got me into playing Albion. I watched both his bad review and his good review. The first impressions initially were bad, then they were good that's what i'm saying so yeah amazing game amazing video that was that was awesome that was awesome 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 uh, now i'm curious about something how excited are you for ashes of creation let me know in the comment section down below